<laughs> my God. My God. Now, I got to rewind for a second, though, too, Benzino. When y'all left the source, what yeah, was that like? It, it was a corporate takeover. At that point, Dave had invested um, early in the 90s, $12 million. We had took out a loan for $12 million, yeah. and he tried to launch Source.com with some other people. I didn't want no parts of it because I didn't understand it, but I yeah. still trusted him, so I, I didn't go to the meetings. Yeah. Computers, I, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I, I don't know <laughs> nothing about this. I, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Whatever I didn't understand, I let him deal. Whatever he didn't understand, he let me deal. That was yeah. our relationship. The stuff we understood together, we'd be there together. Yeah. So they took out a loan. Dave took out a loan for $12 million. Um, His dad helped him get the loan. Yeah. And yeah, and uh, at an 18% fine, finance rate. So, you know, but he's thinking, look, man, we're getting ready to take over the world. We're going to be the first to do this because there was nobody. Computers was looked like they were big ass boxes. At Damn. That point, you know what I'm saying? And they wasn't even showing color shit. Like it was. I don't maybe recall. It was, I don't fucking remember. I just remember he opened up a brand new office on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. You know the fucking rent for Fifth Avenue? And had like 40 desks with these boxes on it. I went up and they showed me. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck this shit was. Man. Yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying? Went, introduced myself to the people working, and that was it. I never went up there again. And I just remember the whole thing crashed. And uh, we, you know, we owed the bank 30 million. And we had to pay the bank 700,000 a month at that, at that point, or else we would lose the magazine. So we would have to sell a piece of our thing. I remember Bob Johnson at that time had just sold BET. He flew us out to his office. He was right before he was leaving DC. He just sold BET for 300, for three, for three billion, I think. It's yeah. A fucking crazy number. Him and his wife. <laughs> so he wanted to buy the source. Mm. And I remember having, a, you know, he was fly. We were in his office. Yeah. He says, look, I'm going I'm to write what I want on a piece of paper. And I'm going to walk out the room. I'm not going to negotiate with you when I come back. This is what I'm, this is going to be the offer, and that's going to be it. Yeah. So he walked out the room, and we opened a little piece of paper. It said $55 million. So me and Dave's trying to do the math. So we got to give the bank 30 Taxes are going to take half. We got to pay all these bills that we owe. We'll probably walk away with $3.5 million, $4 million a piece. Uh, and we felt like you know, he wants to walk away. If he would have kept the song, we would have took it. Yeah. Because we realized the source would have, you know. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, sell it to me and y'all got to walk. See you later in the sunset. We couldn't do it. Damn! We turned down $55 million from Bob Johnson. We wanted 80 The asking price was 80 because at yeah. least we walk away 10 15 Exactly! Grand, strong! You know? But, you know, he did his math and he didn't believe it was worth that. Damn. But the thing was, it probably wouldn't have been worth that if me and Dave wasn't a part of it. Yeah. Now, here comes Black Enterprise. They... We sell them a piece so we can pay this some some of this note, and they ended up taking over the whole thing. Dave didn't understand it that they had more people on the board that voted us out. And we got kicked out. So, for Dave it was horrible. For me it was man, I go back to the streets. You know <laughs> yeah, but I felt bad for Dave. I really didn't yeah. feel bad for me. I really didn't, you know. But it's of course, though, they took his baby. I came, but I came up with Hip Hop Weekly. Yeah, I, and yeah. we went down to Miami. We ran the office. We kind of it was ironic that the same thing that we invested in crashed because nobody had computers and nobody understood the computer. So we was just ahead of our time. It's not yeah. like Dave was wrong. Exactly, he just was maybe like five, ten years ahead of his time. Because a crazy. lot of dot coms crashed. All, it was the the bubble and the burst, the and I recall that. But then to think about y'all being so far ahead in the thing, too far ahead. That's the equivalent of almost being a Google or a damn Yahoo for hip hop. We would have been, honestly, man. You hit it on the head, and that's what Dave was. And it just, you know, a lot of times people don't understand timing is everything. You know, God, it's timing. Yeah. So, um, you know, we packed up everything, moved to New York. I, at that point, I knew that, you know, the, the internet was really taking over a lot of these kids' attention. So I'm like, look, let, let's do a hit. You know, I, I started reading them. Every time I was on a plane, I would read The Enquirer. Mm -hmm. Us Weekly and all these magazines. Yeah. I'm like, man, hip hop needs one. We got major stars. Thanks. So there's no long reading. The, the features are smaller. The articles are smaller. Yeah. So I said, let's do one of these, man. But this time we're going to base it around controversy. We need to yeah. get this fucking money, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, shit's fucked up. And, and it worked. It paid the bills. Yeah. We did that for a while. And the way we did it was crazy because people don't even understand. Putting out a weekly magazine, it's to not get it to easy. The printer, it's it is almost impossible if you don't have. We had a staff of like 
eight, nine, ten around the country, and we was up to because we would have to meet a deadline so that the magazines could get on the actual fucking vehicles to get. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Mean, it was old school. The printers and everything. Them shits are wiped out now. Magazines are basically almost. But yeah. You know, um, it, we we came out every two weeks. Yeah. We still could call it hip hop weekly. Yeah, exactly. And it paid the bills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but it was nothing like the source. Mm. Kept us relevant for another seven, eight years. And uh, you know, that was it. Then Dave went on his way in life and yeah. you know, I went on my we had been together twenty five long years together every day. Hey, I was with him when I had no kids. I have four now. Dave is actually the godfather of my yeah. daughter Coy. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah, nuts. Yeah. And um um, you know, um, hell of a journey. Yeah. That that me and Dave went through. But you know, uh, we don't speak too much now. I would hope one day we get back together and Y'all got to do that because it's a certain uh, synergy that two people have when they create that kind of stuff, man, that you just can't, you can't never forget that kind of thing. I mean, you know, people don't know I got indicted by the feds. I was looking at Rico and, you know, they thought I was uh, funneling money through the source. I went through a hell of an investigation. I was two, three years of my life. They ended up indicting me for taxes. I'm one of the very few that ended up beating a federal tax indictment. Um, 14, I went to trial on it. 14, 12, including two alternatives, and they found me not guilty. My the, God. The, the, our, our accountant wore a wire for eight months up at the source. The guy that we're paying 150000 to, this half Italian, half Jewish guy, and George Moore, and he came and the feds approached him on, on, at the Dunkin' Donuts, George Washington Bridge, and George, was, I, he, I, I barely knew him. When I'm up there, you know, the, the source is separated from the business to the uh, journalistic. And, yeah. You know, Dave is over there business, and George comes in. With, you know, he's not like everybody else can come in the way they want. We hip hop. Yeah. George comes in with a. And I noticed he, for a minute he started wearing a, a, a clip-on tag with it. That was the wire. Yeah. And his thing was they was trying to get him to say that I didn't want to do my taxes. But every time he would, hey Ray, we gotta do your taxes. Look, talk to Dave about that. Number one and number two, I don't know nothing about taxes. Yeah. That's why we're hiring you. Is that it? would be my answer. Come so on. He was trying to trap me up, and, and I had a good lawyer, and they seen that. And you know that you know took up probably the last of my money. You know, my we, God. You know, we lost everything. You know, we went from being millionaires to that was it. 